Well, my porch box is dwindling. Dwindling. Welcome back to Johnny's XJ. Okay, so it's time to get all these engine bolts torqued down, but I can't do that till I get the crash bars on. Because the crash bars go underneath this bolt. So I've got to take that bolt out, put that on, put the bolt back in here. And hopefully the engine doesn't drop forward. Got the bolt under there. They've got the bolts either side there, but I haven't got any bolts at the frontier. Frontier? I haven't got any bolts at the frontier. So, without further ado, you know it, let's go for a poo. Okay, so this bolt is very tight to come out. Hopefully it will just pull out, but so it's not. to take precaution, we're going to put the jack underneath just to take the weight and so now we've got the jack under it thanks jack so I'll wobble the frame and pull on the bolt she comes out cool tensile watt so now we can uh, put the crash bar into place without knocking the camera over. So if I just hook a bolt into the front to hold the front end. That's it. Then we can stick this bolt back in. This setup went from memory. I think that goes there like that, and that goes on top. Let's get the bolt through, shall we? Long, don't they? Right, we'll have to put some new washers on top. New washer on. Now in the book and on eBay and stuff, I've seen a cross tube, what goes across. But I can't find one for this bike and I don't remember taking one off. So I'll just put it back as it was. Too 
almost forgot the uh, bottom bracket. Just about it. We're upstairs in the spare room when I painted them in the winter. But uh, somebody gone and painted them silver. Oh well, they'll have to do. My nice new bolt. Nice new knots. And a bit of nice new grease. And a nice new washer. I oh, think they're too long. They are definitely too long. <laughs> to find some more bolts, won't we? Okay, so we'll use these ones instead. See if we can get these boggers in. You tell me you can't get them in now without the, because the exhaust is on. You're having a laugh. I'm not taking the bloody exhaust off again to get that on. Oh my god. Let's work this out, shall we? Oh, there's always something. Let's try and work out what we can do. Yes, there's always something set to try us, isn't there? The idea I've come up with is try to slide it down there. But get a screwdriver, put a rag round it, and stick it up there. myself a bit of leverage and hopefully it'll slot through slot through slot in go on you bugger Oh yes. And I'll put a washer on that one. Hopefully we can get it to line up. it on first so we well we can still get to it Pardon. should need to be too tight I don't think There's not a lot sticking through for the there's not a lot sticking through for the knot to go on. bracket. Are we going to have the same problem with the bottom bracket? Oh, no, that's a bit easier. Perfect. So let's get this bracketry on. Let's 
by the look at it I forgot one bolt so I've got to clean that up and uh, dip it in the red hot oil oh we're on target can you see what I'm doing stick the bolt through there for now what the right size one goes in there that one goes in there and that one goes in there but it does need cleaning up okay time to do the torque settings on the engine bolts uh, they're all in Newton meters. My wrench is in foot pounds. So I've Googled it. 48 Newton meters is 35.40 foot pounds. So I've got to set them to 35.40. I don't know if you can see it. There's 30, there's the middle, there's the naught, so I've got to go to 5. So that should be 35, a little bit more because of the 40. And then you should lock it off. So let's just set the top one. That's already set. That's it. Okay, the engine nut is also 48 Newton meters. And that's it. Okay, so these bracketry bolts are 30 Newton meters. Don't seem a lot, does it? That's it. Let's get this one to forty eight Newton meters. It. So that's it. All the engine bolts are torqued and the crash bars are on. Now we've just got to uh, now we've just got to do the torque wrench settings on this frame tube. And that's it for the engine and frame. And we can move on. There we go, that's those tightened up. Top wrench settings for those are 89, 89, yes, 89 Newton meters. Just get a bit of a white thing and uh, put a little mark on them. And you know they've been done. Now these bolts are 89 Newton meters. Just downloaded a converter, 89 Newton meters in foot pounds equals 70 foot pounds. So I've set my wrench to 70 foot pounds because it doesn't have Newton meters. Brilliant. I imagine that's going to be pretty tight. Oh, that's thick. That one. Oh, and that's that one. 
and don't forget to mark them. With the wife's eyeliner pencil or whatever it is. <clears throat> yes, we've been playing with the blowtorch again. Done all my engine bolts. Black. See what they look like. a bit better. If I do say myself. Yes, you guessed it. The postman's been. Wait a minute. It's the postman. Just like Christmas, isn't it? smaller and smaller. Oh yes. Don't look too bad for 12 quid does it? And now I know what the bolts look like because I haven't got any bolts for these. It's just been re-sprayed on it because it's all over the brake pads. All over the rubber boots. Just took that bleed nipples free. Where's my spanner? Oh yes, lovely jewelry. Probably have a good clean up and be repainted and go straight on, I reckon. Just waiting for the seals for the other side. Kawasaki, what? <laughs> yeah, it smells lovely. There was a chap who left a comment the other week about green creep. Want to notice some green creep on my coils? But I can't see anything on there. But I'm glad he commented because he has helped me out. If you notice on that one, the leads are coming out this side, and on this one, the leads are coming out this side. And I've checked back on my videos and these are on totally the wrong way round. That one should be there and that one should be there. So thank you for that comment mate. Much appreciated. Otherwise I would be uh, totally rebuilt and who the hell won't this start? Well, cheers again buddy. Let's not get too paranoid. We're getting there. So we've finished with our biscuit tin because there's no more biscuits in.
boy. School teacher walked into school. A notepad in him. And he put it in to the workshop box. And then he started it up with a whole piece of work. And the smell and the sound changed my life forever. I see you in another life, brother.